it's an emotional moment um, for me. You know, I often tell people that um, it's not just five years of work, it's five years of your life. And those five years for me have been five incredible years. I've felt uh, so much love, so much warmth from the Rwandese people. And uh, that letter was just a way for me to say thanks for welcoming me, thanks for making me feel so at home, feel so much like a brother. Professionally, it's been very rewarding. I think what we've been able to do, not just me, but with the entire team here, what we've been able to do and achieve has been quite, quite remarkable. And, and that's largely because the government is very well organized. There's a very clear national plan and strategy in place. And every partner we work with in the ministries and the agencies and even in civil society and the private sector, there's a clear sense of direction of where they want to go. And so it makes it easier for us to work with our national partners and to get things done. So professionally, it's been fantastic. We, we have had so many um, positive outcomes from our programs that we support here. I, I don't think so much about my own legacy. Um, I think in terms of two things, what the country has been able to do in the five years that I've been here, and then secondly, what we've been able to support. And on the first front, and, and you know, th this is something I, I, I want to, to convey. What, what I've seen happen for Rwanda over the last five years, but even over the longer term, over the last 25 years, 26 years since the genocide against the Tutsi, Rwanda didn't develop by accident. It, it didn't develop because it is geographically placed at a very strategic location, because it has access to certain markets or because it has um, a certain wealth of resources and so on. Rwanda shaped its own destiny. It, its leaders and its people deliberately designed the policies and the strategies and the programs that have moved Rwanda from where it was in 1994, a country coming out of one of the darkest chapters in, in human history, to where it is today. Um, I'm gonna miss. I, I love the Sambaza and the grilled tilapia. I really love those. And, uh, you know, the Mizuzu. Um, but I, I love spending time by the lake by Lake Kivu, whether it's in Giseni or Kibuye, it's one of the things I've, I've really enjoyed, just going by the lake for the weekend, that sense of peace, of tranquility. After a week of heavy work, just being able to relax, eat that um, grilled tilapia and some sambaza and sit by the lake with a book. Um, I will miss that, but I'll also miss interacting with the Rwandese people. I felt loved um, here, I felt warmth, I felt friendship. You know, in that article I wrote, I talked about, when I came here, I remember Minister Shaka, um, he, at the time he was at RGB, the CEO, and when I went to meet him, he was one of the first persons I met. He held on to my hand, after we shook hands, he held on to my hand, and I, I was confused. <laughs> it was like, normally you shake hands and you let go. But he held on to my hand and he walked me into his office and he was still holding on to my hand. And it, it took time for me to realize that it was a hand of friendship. <laughs> so I, I will miss that. I will miss the friendship um, with so many of the, the ministers. I've had a wonderful working relationship. So many DGs, so many PSs, so many staff within the government. Um, and, and then just going to the field, um, the Umugandas, when I've been there helping to build houses for poor people and working side by side with the community members. I have a photo of myself and a little boy planting a tree in one of those communities. And I, I will always have that photo with me because that's the way I like to work. You know, I'm not here 
you know, as some UN agent telling the country what to do. I'm here to roll up my sleeves and work with the people of the country to help develop their own country. And I felt that, that brotherliness, um, that acceptance, and I've loved it. <laughs> uh, so I'll miss that. I'll miss rolling up my sleeves with the Rwandese people and working for the country's development. Thank you.